there are going to be lots of people watching in Scotland tonight who are going to say, look, this looks like an absolutely disastrous result. And there are going to be people inside your party and perhaps out saying it's all your fault. Uh, absolutely, I don't doubt that at all. Uh, you know, this is a, at the grimmer end of expectations for the SNP if the exit poll is right. And given what I said earlier on, I suspect it will be broadly right. I'll come back to that in a minute. I think, first of all, this is seismic for Labour and uh, there's no getting away from that, a massive achievement for Keir Starmer. Um, I think it will be interesting as the night progresses to see the extent to which this is a victory driven by a Tory collapse as opposed to a Labour surge. I agree with Ed, seeing the vote shares will be uh, fascinating. I think there's also a question about, you know, this massive mandate Labour now has and what actually is it a mandate for? They were uh, very, very cautious during the campaign. I think the UK political system may be reaping the whirlwind of appeasing Farage rather than taking Farage on, on the core arguments that he makes, particularly around immigration, uh, but a seismic win for Labour and uh, it looks as if Labour has also won its first election in a long time in Scotland. Uh, look, yes, uh, there are uh, clearly big issues in a result of this uh, scale for the SNP. The SNP has been in government for 17 years. Uh, we're in government now at a time when austerity is really biting, the impact of Brexit is biting. Of course, uh, there were always going to be real challenges in this election, uh, but it's also about the context of the election. You know, this was a kick the Tories, get the Tories out. Um, and that always happened to the SNP pre the independence referendum. And I think we're reverting to that tonight. But, you know, this is not a good night for the SNP on these numbers. Um, and there'll be a lot of questions uh, that need to be asked uh, as we come out of it. I think there will be a question about whether uh, there was enough in the campaign to give a, effectively a USP to the SNP in a an election that was about getting the Tories out and replacing them with Labour. But no doubt we'll get into uh, much of that as the night progresses.